Hello, welcome again to Engineering Semester Channel. Today let's start the another interesting topics of the WebRTC tutorial series. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Today let us see the complete architecture of WebRTC. This video contains mixture of all our previous tutorial. So please check the previous tutorials of WebRTC if you have missed any tutorials. Let us get started. In the last video we already discussed what is signaling server and why it is required in WebRTC. Today let us see how can a basic WebRTC connect each other with a diagram. This is the pictorial representation of a simple WebRTC connection. Here, peer user will connect each other through a signaling server. After the connection successful and each client get user details. WebRTC will send audio and video data through WebRTC channel. WebRTC knows how to talk directly to another peer without a signaling server, but it doesn't know how to discover another peer. That is why we are using signaling server here. Here one important point you should remember. Both peers have a connection to the signaling server before they have a connection to each other. Okay. Now you get a basic idea of how WebRTC connect each other. Next let us look the detailed view of WebRTC connection architecture. This the pictorial representation of the advanced WebRTC connection. You can see here. Two peer want to connect each other using WebRTC. Both peers have a connection to the signaling server before they have a connection to each other. Then the next steps will be the exchange of the SDP offer and answer request through the signaling server. This is represent here with the red line arrows. I will explain with the example now. Suppose user A want to connect with user B. The first step will be. User A and user B should connect to signaling server. Next. User A send SDP request to user B through signaling server. Then, the signaling server will send that offer to user B. If user B is ready to connect, then the user B will send an answer to that offer request to signaling server. Finally, the signaling server will send back the answer request to user A. Now the SDP offer and answer has been completed. Through this process, both user A and user B can get their details like IP address, video, audio, codec, etc. After this process, remaining video and audio communications will be happened through WebRTC APIs. This doesn't require any signaling server at all. Here signaling server is only used to get the client details and session descriptions. We already discussed in the previous videos about stun and turn server. ICE is the technique which uses stun and turn protocols to establish a connection. If an end user is under a NAT which is a local IP address, then it is very difficult to reach the end user from outside the local network. If this is happen, the end user can request its public IP address from a stun server. Basically stun server will help to get user public IP address if it is under NAT. Turn server can be used to get public IP address to establish a connection to the end user if it's under symmetric NAT. So in short, Turn and stun will help to get user public IP address. Next let us look how the, the communication between the peers will be handled through WebRTC APIs. Here in this diagram, you can see the WebRTC JavaScript APIs names. We can see the detailed understanding of these APIs in the upcoming videos. Now let us understand that WebRTC are using JavaScript libraries to implement the functionalities. In short, to create a WebRTC connection we are using RTC peer connection method. And to fetch the video and camera stream details of the user, WebRTC using get user method. And finally to communicate the data like text chat, we are using RTC data channel method. Don't worry now. I will explain in detail of these WebRTC APIs in the upcoming videos. That's it for now. I hope you got a better idea about WebRTC connection process. Let us see more in the upcoming videos. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.